we uh, present here the first results from a phase 1b study of abriterone plus apalutamide, uh, historically known as ARN509, uh, with the rationale of saying, well, abriterone we already know is extremely effective in improving overall survival, delaying progression of the disease, and uh, delaying symptoms due to the disease, and delaying the need for subsequent therapy like chemotherapy. Um, Abriterone acts on the production of androgens, and we have other drugs uh, like enzalutamide uh, that act on the androgen receptor. And apalutamide is very similar to enzalutamide in terms of attacking and very effectively inhibiting the androgen receptor. So logically, we would think that if you're combining a therapy that stops androgen production to a therapy that stops the androgen receptor from being stimulated by the little androgens around, then we might get better efficacy. So this phase one study wasn't really to look at efficacy, but to make sure that it's safe to combine those two drugs, and also to determine that in terms of PK, of the pharmacokinetics and the pharmacodynamics of both abriterone and, and apalutamide are not affected by each other. And so this was important and reassuringly what we found was that in terms of PK, the addition of apalutamide doesn't seem to inhibit the abriterone levels that are required to be efficacious.